Hey all, here at OS Reviews. As we start heading into October and beyond, it's firmly holiday season, and in the tech world, it's referred to as Techtober, with a lot of releases, annual updates coming up. So we have been seeing quite a few new launches from Anchor under their Soundcore series lately. So today we're taking a look at yet another model that is their Soundcore Liberty 4s. And these ones are a little bit more geared towards competing with the AirPods with the stem inspired shape, having a microphone a little closer to your mouth for communicating. But they're also the most fully featured pair of buds from Anchor that we've seen yet. They go for 150 bucks, which isn't cheap, but considering that they are flagship grade, it's still reasonable. For one, they support LDAC for high-res audio certification, meaning that you're getting as good quality transmission as possible using a wireless technology. And perhaps one of the other selling points that they're touting here is that it has a all new heart rate sensor. Now heart rate sensors on wireless buds, it's something that we have seen before on a pair from Amazfit for sports and workout, and much in the same vein, these can measure your heart rate as you're exercising, running, and track that for you continuously. Now, arguably, a lot of folks these days also have smart watches, and most of those have heart rate monitors, so that functionality might be a little bit repetitive. Granted, this allows you to potentially not having to wear those if silicon is irritating for you, then something like this, which just places the sensor over onto your ear, it might be a little bit more comfortable. Despite the heart rate sensor being heavily advertised, I would say the most interesting feature out of these is it now supports spatial audio because it has a built-in gyroscope and accelerometer that can detect as you're moving your head and the effect is surprisingly good almost as good in fact as the airpods allows you to do a custom eq mapped specifically to your hearing needs and this mode can now also be triggered with the active noise cancellation meaning that it's able to change the intensity of the noise cancellation depending on your surroundings and also doing a test of how much pressure is on the inside of your ear versus the outside. So it's very intelligent in terms of the adaptive ANC as well. Now as their flagship buds, these also are using dual dynamic drivers inside. They are stacked on top of one another, which they claim will also improve the audio quality. We do have some spare silicon tips to get a more snug fit. And then on the inside here, there's a further tray which you can use to uh, find the USB Type-C charging cable. By the way, they can also be charged using Qi wirelessly, so any MagSafe or regular Qi pad can also be used to top them up, along with a quick user guide. And a closer look at the design of the buds themselves. Once again, they are just very stylish, and I have to say ultra-premium looking. Pretty similar to, again, their previous Liberty Series buds, which have always retained this stem design. But you can tell how on the inside, the silicon padding is even backlit. So whenever you remove the buds or pop them in, it lights up just the region underneath there to create this interesting glow-in-the-dark effect. Just these really subtle but premium touches that you won't find on many of the other less expensive variants. And we also have a very satisfying hinge when it comes to opening and closing has a kind of assisted spring load onto the back, slightly curved just like before. And we also have a Type-C port for charging, wireless charging on the back there, and that is it. These delicate chamfered edges also gave it a little bit more of a shine compared to previous generation models. And similar to remarks that we saw from some of their other current gen products, it retains mostly a matte polycarbonate surface as opposed to being treated with soft touch rubber. So it's not necessarily grippy like silicon, but doesn't really attract fingerprints and also won't wear out either. Overall, the aesthetic is in line with their current generation models. They also have a very shiny appearance with the stem, which is completely touch sensitive and allows you to trigger things like playing and pausing as well as raising the volume of those controls you will be able to find and trigger. The drivers are also protected using this uh, metal mesh, as you can see there, which is quite premium and overall easy to clean. There is also a ambient light sensor, as you can see there, that can detect if you're wearing the buds or not to automatically play and pause the music. Located on the rim of the metal here is even some delicate etching, which is just branding the Liberty 4 name and the acoustic drivers that are being used. So a lot of attention to detail. Despite packing in all of these sensors, they don't feel necessarily heavier or more bulky than any of standard buds that we've seen from them in the past. So they're still comfortable when it comes to wearing for a couple of hours of continuous music listening. 
Taking a closer look at the companion app next, it's the same one found on all of their other wearables, but it just packs in some more features and settings than what we have previously seen. So for once, it gives you a little bit of a personalized statement and then tells you the battery percentage left on the buds as well as in the case. Over here, you can trigger different modes such as the transparency, ambient mode, which lets in sound, so you can have a conversation without removing the buds, or you can turn on the Hear ID A and C. That Hear ID branding means that it's personalized active noise cancellation, which detects your surroundings and accordingly adjusts the level of the noise cancellation. And more importantly, you can also optimize this by doing again a test, which will slightly change the intensity as well as the level of pressure. You can also go into a manual mode to change the profile yourself if you don't want to rely on the automatic detection. So aside from that, other things that you can find, including the sound controls, you can also pick between, again, triggering the high-res audio LDAC mode that'll push over the highest level of detail in the sound possible however it will also be transmitting more data so it will slightly increase the latency as a result it's best suited for just pure music listening and podcast as opposed to if you're gaming or watching a video you should probably turn it off and it still sounds really good then there are effects like the spatial audio, which there is a fixed mode, which just gets you a little bit more separation between parts of the sound that you're listening to. There's even a music version versus a movie mode. This one here just makes the effect a little bit more apparent versus the music one is a bit more subtle versus a head tracking mode which will now be dynamically moving based on your positioning. This is incredibly fun and actually quite effective in my testing and surprisingly unlike spatial audio tracks that you have to get with let's say Apple's implementation this is compatible with every single song in your catalog and every movie that you play back. It will just be calibrated based on your initial position starting at the front, and then as you move your head, it will then accordingly react. So this is really neat. Again, may not be always practical to have in every single scenario, but I have found that in certain situations when watching back movies, it has added to the immersiveness of the sound. Under Hear ID, this is a little bit more familiar, but you're able to create, again, your custom hearing test, and then it will tune the sound accordingly to compensate regions which you prefer. You're able to set this up, also uh, select other uh, modes such as music genres to further customize the settings. Then under controls, you are able to remap what the taps will do. Under the wellness section, it will also tell you in terms of your last heart rate measurement, how many minutes of activity in terms of workout you've done using the headphones. These headphones don't necessarily act as a pedometer, so they don't track the number of steps, but it still gives you a few of those workout courses, uh, mostly just detecting your heart rate and using that metric to approximate how active you were during the entire session. So here was a walking session that I did for about 15 minutes the other day. It tells you how my heart was doing during that session. And they also have a kind of digital assistant that talks to you during the entire session, such as you should keep up your pace uh, or you should further move a little bit more quickly because your heart rate is too slow at the moment uh, and you can set up different targets which you want to reach. So let's say you want to tap on go. This will now allow us to choose certain workouts like the aforementioned running, some guided exercises like walking um, that will also change in terms of the duration. Overall, I would say the heart rate accuracy is also really not bad, surprisingly, but it's similar to what we saw on the Amazfit Powerbeat Pros in that I think the technology here is actually better than I was originally anticipating. When compared to a smartwatch, I found them to be pretty much neck to neck, maybe just one or two beats apart. Moving into audio quality, it's similar to what I hinted at at the beginning of the video, which is in a vacuum, they are already one of the best sounding pair of buds that you can find on the market with the high res certification transmitting a ton of data over the dual drivers packing in a lot of detail and they don't sound tinny at all. In fact, it almost feels like you're wearing larger headphones at times. They pack sufficient bass so that when you're listening to a drum beat, it gets you a satisfying kick that is well received and tight for drum beats at the same time, mids and treble when it comes to reproducing instrumentals and vocals still pack plenty of details as well. Uh, so overall, they are just incredibly clean, crisp, and just sucks you into the music almost immediately. Still arguably the pro edition of the Buds, even though they are lacking some of those other features, maybe has a slightly larger secondary driver, which is able to pack in even more detail when you are being super nitpicky side by side. But like I said, these already sound better 
I would say, than the AirPod 2s and pretty much all the other buds I've tried at a similar price range, so sound quality is already excellent. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Anchor Soundcore Liberty 4s, and as you can kind of tell, this is a pair of buds that I think comes very close to being without much flaws, I have to say. It packs pretty much every feature underneath the sun, and it gets the job done in a very stylish and still comfortable experience, as well as very good active noise cancellation, I have to say, especially with the adaptive automatic adjustments and the custom hearing tests further improve the efficacy there. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Liberty 4s from Soundcore.